Yo guys, this one kid's trying to race me. Really? Yeah. Who? Audio 8, B10 plus. B10 plus? Yeah. A B10 plus? Yeah. What do you say that he just he, he wants to race you or he could take you? He could take me. He seems pretty cocky, honestly. The only thing Marcus is on your side today is that it's a little chilly out, but he warm your tires, man. He's all wheel drive, but you got a lot more power and you're much lighter. Yeah. That's that one kid that pulled up, right, at the gate. Yeah. I don't know why everyone's pulling up to our house, like, wanting want a race. Man, they're trying to take down our cars, bro, obviously. That's Yo, true. at the end of the day, Mark is like, it's not even, this isn't even a race. It's just seeing if he can keep up, bro. Yeah. So. He might, he might beat me on the launch, though, because it's all we drive. His car. Dude, just warm your tires, do some donuts, and let's get this. Hey, he wanted to challenge you, so <laughs> let's do this. It's to be fun. I mean, when you look at the facts, you want to look at three things that a car has, okay? The three most important things. The weight, the horsepower, and the aerodynamics. When we look at weight, GT2 RS weighs around 3,200 pounds. When we look at the Audi R8, the all-wheel drive adds a lot of uh, weight to it. It weighs around 3,600 pounds. But then you got to look at the power. GT2 RS not only has it on the weight, GT2 RS produces 691 horsepower, where the Audi R8 V10 Plus produces around 610 horsepower. So, GT2 RS has less weight and more power. Technically, it should be winning. With the all-wheel drive on the Audi R8, it can take off faster. The GT2 RS has to have warm enough tires, but it should be passing it around past half the quarter mile right there. So, Larry, what's your prediction? My prediction, um, from what I'm basing it off of, I've had a Performante, same engine as the Audi R8 V10 Plus. Um, Four-wheel drive system is probably gonna take Marcus off the launch. if if you know the other driver does the launch control but marcus is gonna end up you know passing him after 60 miles an hour yeah for sure technically the rs should be winning the rs like i said has less weight more power aerodynamically they're both pretty good this car produces a lot of downforce that's why it's one of the top of the nuremberg ring um, but marcus has to make sure his tires are warm that's the most important thing that's the key factor here yo marcus you know what to do you gotta warm up these tires let's see this launch control real quick first try He's slipping a bit. He has to warm up these tires a bit more. He's, so. he's good after first gear for sure though. After first gear on, he's good. The car is sticking, man. Let's go, let's go. You guys gotta remember, these are real races. I saw a lot of comments on the last video. How are you guys all of a sudden recording and, and a guy pulls up? He did pull up. And this guy with the Audi Ray V10 Plus pulled up earlier today, challenging exactly just the GT2 RS. He was like, I'm calling out the GT2 RS. So let's see what happens. He wanted it. We're down, we ain't backing down. He's here, guys. What's up, bro? What's up? How are you? Good, how are you? What's your name? Jacob. Nice to meet you, Marcus. What's up, bro? What's up, man? Marcus. What's up, bro? Lucas, nice to meet you, bro. What's up, bro? Cyrus, nice to meet you guys. Cyrus, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. Fresh car. Um, so we pulled out GT2 RS for you guys. So um, I think what we're gonna do is roll races first. A uh, good way to warm up the tires too, and then we'll go on the, our drag strip, and then we launch control and, and see what happens. Sounds good. So um, right. let's do good. some pulls. Let's, let's do it. Go. All right, let's go.
Yeah, that, that definitely sounds better than my car. Yeah. Sounds really that, good. How much was part of that? 640? 640. Six, six, oh, is it? 640. Oh, I think it's All right. All right, cool. Steve, let's do this. Ready? One, two, three! Jesus Christ is taking it. He's way behind. He can't even... Oh, there's the headlights. Okay, okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. Ready? One, two, three! Oh, it's gone. The Taurus is pulling away. Marcus took that one. All right, so like we said in the car, um, Marcus took him. It was about three cars. And I know, guys, I lost my voice. Sorry about that, all the counting down and stuff. But now we're going to do launch control. Yeah, let him come. Here he comes. That was a good race. I mean, you know, it is what it is. What can I say? Yeah, but you might take me off launch. We're going to do launch control yeah, now. Yeah, that's true. So. I got a nice launch control, but I don't know. We'll see. It was fun. All right. Can I see the interior? Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> mind if I, do you mind if I go inside real quick? Go ahead. Oh, oh it's this Audi Sport right here. Wow. Okay. All right, in there. It's fine. Yeah. It's got the all right interior. Yo, why don't we do a drag race? Oh uh, yeah, I'm down. Let's go. I thought it'd be pretty fun. Let's do yeah, it. Let's do it. Oh. I forgot how snug it is in here. Yeah. Bucket seats. <laughs> so fast. It's gonna be Lucas. He's gonna go one, two. When he brings his hands down, you go, okay? Alright, so when I point at you, launch control, launch control. Start your launch control right when he points the other guy. Alright, let's go! Jesus Torres is taking it! Yes! Let's go! Take him on the launch for sure, honestly. I didn't know I was gonna take him on the launch because he was all weird drive, so. Second time, second time. Good job, guys. Good race. Good job. That was fun. That was fun. That was fresh. That was fresh. Appreciate it, man. Always have good sportsmanship, guys. Always have good sportsmanship. So, like we were right, the Audi R8 had a very good launch. We were good enough to warm up the tires of the G2RS. That was a good race. Um, can't wait to look back at the tapes, guys. That was crazy. I thought that this would be the only one that there would be somewhat of a chance against just compared to the other cars, but I thought it was fun. It was. Like the launch part, it was good. Yeah. We, it was pretty close in the beginning, but towards the end, it wasn't so good. Most importantly, we did this, uh, we were all safe and legal. So. Yeah, guys, make sure whenever you're driving, um, you know, follow the rules, follow the law. Make sure you wear a seatbelt. Safety is like, you can't put a price tag on life. Make sure you guys stay safe and clean, wash your hands, and practice safe social distancing, all right? Yo, we'll see you guys in the next race. Get back home safe, guys. Good job. Good job, guys. Thank you.